Oh my god. Is that a Glock that's also a bong? No way. Dude. It's a Glock. The Glock. Yeah, the Glock. Just the Glock. It's a Glock that's also a bong. No way. It's the Glock. The Glock. Yeah, the Glock. The Glock. It's my Glock and it's also my bong. The Glock. The Glock. Yeah, the Glock. The Glock. It's a Glock that's also a bong. No way. The Glock. The Glock. Yeah, my Glock. The Glock. It's my Glock and it's also my bong. What's going on? Nice of you to join us on another episode of PSR. Totally awesome you decided to stop by because we got something super cool today that's a giant F you to the government. That is this. It's a Glock 26 with a giant grip. But what makes it really cool is it's also a bong. No way! Yeah, you got that right. It's a glong. It's a Glock that's also a bong. This was primarily designed as a statement piece. And who's the designer? That's Yeezy Prince, of course. Now he also designed one that's a normal 17 length grip, but this one's super special because it's got the Chairman One stipples. And it's the Chairman One remix. This design on the grip has got me totally enchanted. I feel like I'm almost disappearing into another dimension or galaxy. Crazy. The architecture of this is based on the DD-17 and DD-26.2 pistols designed by none other than Navi Go Boom. So shouts out to him. Want to know something totally wild? Technically speaking, if you own a firearm and you smoke marijuana in the United States, that's illegal. Whoa. If you go to like buy a new gun and you say that you don't smoke weed and you do, you're committing a total felony, bro. Whoa. Yeah, because cannabis is federally illegal, you're totally committing a crime by just even smoking weed and owning a firearm. That's nuts. For example, let's say you like got a medical marijuana card because like you got like Hodgkin's lymphoma and like you're going through chemotherapy or something, right? And you just like can't eat, so like you need weed to like be able to eat, which is totally something that people do. And like you also got this really abusive ex-boyfriend and he's like threatening your life. And then you like say, oh, like maybe I need to like defend myself and like go get a gun. So you like go to the gun store and you're like filling out like the 4473. And then it says, are you a user of cannabis? You're like, whoa, I like got this medical marijuana card and it's totally legal in my state because it's like for my chemo. And then they're like, sorry, you can't have this firearm now because you smoke weed and you have a medical marijuana card. What a total buzzkill, brah. Not to mention that abusive ex-boyfriend of yours probably is super stoked that you don't have a gun. Nice job, federal government. Sick. Did you know that there's over 145 million US citizens that have access to medical marijuana? Yet it's still illegal in this country? Jesus, Uncle Sam, that's so cringe. So enough of me talking, right? Let's go and shoot this thing, see how it does. Now, we're not gonna be smoking it today, even though this is totally made for tobacco use only. I don't recommend doing any substances while shooting a firearm. As far as Glock parts go, it's just like normal stuff, but I got a Patmos arm slide on here and I got another one with an RMR cut as well. I'm gonna see how they both do. I like totally lubed them up a bunch before this. <laughs> and so it should be running flawlessly, but we're gonna see how it goes. I haven't put any rounds through it. But enough of me talking, bro. Let's go shoot this thing. <laughs> Sick. Before we get to shooting the Glong and having a lot of fun with it on this totally rad, beautiful April day, I want to thank KAK Industry for being like the most based channel sponsor anyone could wish for. Why? Well, they support me of course, but also they're really into 3D printing and they also make some of the coolest, raddest air parts around for not that much money. Hypothetically speaking, I would never ever tell you to go to their website 
and use the code PSR for 10% off, it would be totally not something I would recommend ever doing. So anyway, thanks to KAK for sponsoring this channel. Check this, I got a target sitting at like around 10 yards. I'm gonna go like one-handed at first. It should run, but like, don't know, you know, like you don't wanna like blow off your hand or something, but like, we'll try it out. It's kind of heavy, bro. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Looks like it chambered. I'm gonna shoot it with my like, Left hand, I can't shoot it with my left hand. I'm gonna have to shoot it with my right hand. All right, bra. Hope for the best. The glong. Shooting in one, two, three. Whoa. Don't see any cracks or nothing. Looks like it's cycled. I missed the target, but I think it's gonna be all right. Oh, shit. Oh, it didn't eject. That's totally not good. Might need more lube. Total stovepipe. Whoa. Ejected that time. All right. Oh. Did not chamber another round? Ah, oh, buzzkill. Oh, hot brass right on my hand. <laughs> Damn, but it's all right. It's just peace and love on the range with the glong. There we go. Maybe if I support it with two hands, it'll chamber better because it won't get that like limp wrist. Got another little stovepipe, but that was running a little bit better. We're getting some funky ejection, but like this is still pretty cool. <laughs> the ejection's like going like forward and up. Very weird. And we're out. All right. Well, I wouldn't call that perfect, but for what it is, I think it's doing all right. Let's shoot it a little bit more. Bra. It's not loaded. Don't worry. The gun's not loaded, guys. Don't worry, all right? Don't spaz. All right, so what I did was I totally put on a different slide. I'm hoping that it does a little bit better. Unfortunately, the OEM Glocks, like the ejectors, are not good in Gen 3 Glocks, and I haven't switched this out, so it might just totally be an ejector problem. Or maybe it has to do with the slide. I don't know, but like, regardless, still pretty cool. Anything else today is like totally cherry on top, so I'm like really not that mad, but it would be sweet to get this thing running. All right, let's go. It's ejecting like totally to the left. Crazy, brah. Crazy ejection, bro. We're getting like totally psychedelic ejection on this Glock. <laughs> uh, I totally missed. Total wild ejection pattern, bro. Got a little stiff pipe, but that's that's running a little bit better. Let's go. Come on, Glong. Damn, another stovepipe. I'm getting stovepipes left and right still. It's all right, because we're still just having fun with the glong. And the bull is still with us. Whoa. So I was just like sitting here, like thinking about life. And I was like, whoa. What if we could induce like a triple crazy pipe situation where I'm shooting the Glock that's also a pipe out of like a cylindrical object that sort of resembles a pipe. And then we get a stove pipe with the slide. So let's see if we can do that. Maybe the universe will align. There we go. Whoa, a stove pipe in a pipe shooting a pipe. Wild. Come on, hit this target, bro. Yeah, 
another step five. Whoa. Boom. There we go. One of the small downsides to the Glong is that you can't shoot it left-handed. So if you're a lefty, you might be out of luck, which is kind of a bummer, but that's a small price to pay in exchange for a Glock that's also a bong. Let's see if we can go from like low ready and hit these three targets. I swear to God, bro, the turps on this sativa where it's threat, threat. Oh, fuck, I missed the first. There we go. Not bad. Could do a little bit better next time. Scoop. Scoopity bop, beepity bop, bop, beep. Beep, da, dee, da, dee, da, dee, dee. Dee, scoop, scoop, scoopity da, dee, dee, da. Scoop, 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 a doo, bop, ba. Boop, scoopity. Mmm. Scoopity boop. Mmm. This one time, I was just like shooting my Glock, and then it just like, whoopish, whoopish, pitted. And then I was just like, damn, like, the next level, dude. I was like getting thrashed here and there by this fucking 308, and then I was just like, pitted. And then I was just like shooting the Glock, like, whoa, dude. I was like, stove pipe after stove pipe. I was just getting it, dude. Like, just getting so many fucking stove pipes, and it was pissing me the fuck off, bro. It's like a semi-automatic gun, dude. Like, why aren't you working? And then it double fed. And then I was like, dude, don't double feed, dude. That's what I did to your mom last night. Damn. Whoa. All right, so we put a lot of rounds through this Glong, and it's doing all right. I've gotten a lot of stove pipes, which I think may be attributed to the ejector in here, but like, you never really know. I'll have to try a different slide on here and see if it's the same way. But also, it could be the mags. We've been smoking straight gas OEM Glock mags out of this Glong. Now it's time to smoke some super reggy, dirt ass mag, and that's the Pro Mag. Normally, Pro Mags have a bad rap for always causing malfunctions and never working. But we're gonna see if this Glong can smoke this Pro Mag and if it'll get us nice and lit. Well, we've got a failure to feed. There we go. Ugh, oh, did not even feed that time. Stove pipe. Whoa. So, we're still getting quite a lot of malfunctions, so... Honestly, I don't even think it has to do with the mag. Actually, I kind of take that back. This is having more malfunctions with the Pro Mag, which kind of lines up with their reputation for making dirt shit mags. The last four worked, but overall that was a pretty piss poor performance, as expected. Well, that's about it for today's episode. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in on this beautiful holiday, uh, the April of 20th, 2023, and watching this content. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. That'd be awesome, but like no pressure. It just would like make my day. Also, thank you to the designer, Yeezy, and Chairman Juan for making such a cool device. And also, like, don't forget to show the government that you don't f*** with their laws and just let them know. Like, don't ever break the law, but just let them know you don't appreciate it. And maybe sometimes there'll be a change. Like, you never know. That'd be like a total paradigm shift. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time. Later.
going on now, ho? I got the motherfucking glizzy in the bong. Glizzy in the bong. Stove pipe.